All right, so here we've got Brock. Say hi, Brock. Hi. That's um, and I've got the Massimo Emma here. So I'm going to try putting this on his vent circuit because he's kind enough to allow me. And the interesting thing you'll note is when it goes on the circuit, even when he breathes, he gets nothing. So there's no exhalation going on in the circuit right now. This is going to be fairly common with vented patients who have the balloon down in their trach. And I'll show you why. As I make his vent mad, go ahead and blow. So you can see all of his exhaled CO2 is coming through his mouth right now, not through the vent circuit. So later we'll do another shot and we'll actually take his balloon or put his balloon up and then we'll attach this again and see what happens. Welcome back. Come back here with Brock again. He can't talk this time because his balloon on his trach is inflated. But as you can see, the Emma is in line and we're getting a nice solid reading. You get respirations, entitled CO2, and the waveform below. The only disadvantage that you'll notice is the unit is upside down in the grand scheme of things, not a huge deal. Uh, Brock is also chronically vented and draped, so his circuit may be different from a patient who was, for example, intubated in the field. Also, you'll note here the respiration numbers here do correlate nicely with the numbers on his device. We're at 14 there, and we're at 14 on the Emma. One thing I will point out. We did have to attach an extra adapter in line right here to make the device fit properly. So, just something to be aware of. You will need the Emma as well as the adapter. Otherwise the unit doesn't fit. At least not here right above the whisper swivel. Obviously it does need to be above this because this is where the exhalation occurs. So you're not going to capture any anti CO2 if you put it below this. But otherwise it does work very nicely. Again, impressive little device for something the size of a Pulse Ox. I like it quite a lot. Thanks for watching.